I'm Joshua Young. And I'm Desmond Lilligard, and we're here with your Monday morning announcements. If you are energetic, want to have a great time, and are looking for ways to get involved, stop by Sportsorama on March 9th at 6 p.m. Sign up with your class coaches if you'd like to get active and show your class pride. Seniors, the last day to turn in your community service hours is this Friday, March 9th. Get all your paperwork in order if you want recognition for all your hard work. Before you go posting anything online, it might be best to think it over. Although it seems fun at the time, it could have unforeseen consequences. Let's take a look at an informational PSA for more details. Now let's pass it over to Iman for In the News. Good morning, Wolfpack. My name is Iman Mansour, here with your Monday news update. Dane will be joining us with Christine Ramirez later in the show. The 90th Academy Awards were last night. Cinematographer Roger Deakins finally won his first Oscar for Blade Runner 2049. Jordan Peele became the first African American to take home Best Original Screenplay for Get Out. Gary Oldman and Frances McDormand got Best Leading Actor and Actress for Darkest Hour and Three Billboards. Respectively, Best Picture went to Guillermo del Toro's Shape of Water. One of the major snubs was Lady Bird, about a young girl growing up in Sacramento, which was nominated for five Oscars and won exactly none of them. President Trump announced a plan for a 25% tariff on U.S. imports of steel and a 10% tariff on aluminum to protect American manufacturing the plan is considered a safeguard tariff intended as a, quote, emergency shield erected to stop a sudden, unforeseen, and damaging import surge that could seriously damage a particular industry, end quote, according to the Reuters. Trump announced this morning that Mexico and Canada could be exempted from the tariff if they signed a new NAFTA deal more favorable to the U.S. Now my partner Dane Suba here with C Senior Christine Ramirez. Thanks, Iman. Good morning, Wolfpack. I'm Dean Suba, and I'm here with Christine Ramirez to talk about her letter campaign. First of all, I want to say thank you for joining us today. Mm -hmm. So, um, for, so this the school year started with so many shootings. So, what pushed you to start writing letters for Florida? Yeah. So I wanted to write letters because I wanted to raise awareness from CO to all the way from Florida, and like I realized how desensitized we became to school shootings and to shootings in general since we've kind of like grown up with them you could say so I really wanted to have our students be involved and to kind of have them snap back into reality and hope that the letters will kind of bring feeling back and they can realize how big of an issue this really is. 
So what do you want the survivors of the shooting to feel while reading the letters you and so many others have written for them? Yeah, so overall, even though this is like a really traumatic event for them, I feel like I want them, like when they read the letters, I want them to know that even though we're all the way in California, like that they still have our support and that like they can speak up and really make a change and that they have like our support from all of us at CL. So I know that you held the event last week, so how would other students who weren't able to come be able to participate in sending the letters over to them? Yeah, so even though my event was last week and it was kind of last minute, um, if you're interested in writing a letter, you can write one at home so it's more personal, you can get it all out. And if you see me at school, give it to me by the end of this week and I'll send it in. Thank you so much, Christine, for joining us today. Yeah, thanks. Yeah, so back to Yankers. Thank you, ladies. To all current freshmen and sophomores interested in joining the National Honor Society, applications are available in the following rooms and will be due March 19th. Come support your friends at LinkSync on March 15th at 6.30 p.m. in the MP room. Tickets will be $2 at the door. Well, that's all we have for you today, Wolfpack. I'm Desmond Lilligard. And I'm Joshua Young. Remember, the strength of the pack is the wolf. And the strength of the wolf is the pack. Enjoy, Enjoy your, your last Monday, Monday of Term, term 3, Wolfpack. Wolfpack.